Hey guys and welcome back to the corner for Friendly Friday. As you guys know from my last one, I'm not in Cornwall at the moment. I'm so glad that I still get to upload this video. Um, this one was requested by several of my friends uh, and it's a story that I told a few years ago. Uh, I went to a party and I only knew one person at the party and there was a moment in which everyone kind of stopped and looked at me um, and out of pure pressure this story came blurting out. I have no idea why, I'm pretty sure it wasn't relevant to anything at the time, um, but no matter how much people drank that night, um, the fact that some people could barely remember their names in the morning, everybody remembered this story and I haven't been able to escape it since. So I have actually been out uh, imbued especially and had people I've never met come up to me before and say, are you Cleo? Because if you are, I have to ask you about the seagull story. So this is for all of my friends uh, that have heard the seagull story so many times. I give you guys the seagull story. So this was several years ago, uh, me and my friends had all been out playing pool and me and my friend Jamie always walked back the same way afterwards. And on the same corner as always we hugged goodbye and he went his way, I went mine. Uh, so I'm alone, it's night time, it's dark, so I did that very typical thing where you flip your hood up so that you, you know, you look a bit yobbish so people don't mess with you. So I'm now walking along uh, and I hear a noise behind me and at this stage I was probably like a green or brown belt in karate so my senses are on high alert. I'm pretty sure I'm about to be mugged. Um, so I've got a bit more, you know, I get a bit riled up and I hear the noise again and it was slightly closer and uh, I'm ready to defend myself and all of a sudden something hit me on the back of the shoulder and in true self-defense karate mode, I screamed like a tiny girl and tried not to trip over my own feet whilst jumping up and down in the air and around in a circle. And I started screaming for Jamie, who isn't trained, so at the end of the day, if I couldn't defend myself, I'm pretty sure uh, he wouldn't have been able to help much. Um, and all I see is him come running round the corner with his pool cue in his hand, also shouting because he doesn't know what's going on. And I am now profusely sweating and surprised I haven't been mugged yet. And as he gets to me, I look down on the floor and all we saw was a baby seagull, possibly the fluffiest little ball of cuteness, and it had fallen off of a shed roof onto me and uh, completely unfazed this little seagull just hopped back up onto its feet and just wandered off. It was completely fine, it wasn't injured by the looks of it, it wasn't phased or scared and it walked off with so much swagger while I was stood there with a massive adrenaline rush and just sweating. Jamie's also riled up because it, he didn't know what he was running into and it was all because of this tiny ball of fluff and feathers. So that is the seagull story and I never thought too much of it, I literally just said it so to fill the silence of everybody looking at me but my friends fell in love with this story and whenever I see them again it's one of the first things they ask. So I hope you guys enjoyed that story as much as my friends did, my very drunk friends at the time. Um, and I will enjoy being free from this story at last. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, you should definitely click that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in the corner again very soon. Take care of yourselves and stay friendly.